forwards. Mason Clark is calling for it centrally, but the referee pulling it back and they're keen to get on with it here. Barnett, Walker. Plenty of trickery in his armour. He's done really well here. Walker with the pull back. And it's turned behind by Bagan. Yeah, he's done really, really well. And this is an area I feel Notts County have to be aware of. They switch off there. Walker gets in a really good position there. Dahl makes the challenge. Just rides that nicely. Be worth it. Rose. Roberts, nice turn. And looking to drive on here. Roberts with the attempted shot. Santos got in the way of it. And he gets the Frittingham area in the lead up to kickoff. It is going to be Roberts. Good stop by Loach. Well, it shows how much he backs himself. Santos. Advantage played here by the referee, and McCallum looks to get on the end of that. He was just prevented from doing so. An important challenge by Alex Lacey. It was a really, really important challenge there. Just a great little through ball. That's a centre-half. Have to turn your body there. Just, just gets that touch. Honestly, in these conditions, ball going in behind you, you can always mistime that challenge, but that was an excellent, excellent challenge. Lastly. Fist him with some pace there. And it was an inviting ball, and it was Villetti who was arriving in the box, one of the smallest players on the pitch. Oh, he scored his head against Yeovil, but that's from about a yard out. One of those... Lacey. Gets it back again off Doyle. There's the cross into the box, which was a good ball too, and it was Wooten getting on the end of it. Just couldn't quite direct it on target. And he's always stretching for it a little bit, but I've mentioned throughout this first half so far, Notts County rely on decent crosses coming into the box. And Harry Taylor just did a little bit there, just enough, just to give him that little bit of a push. And Scott Lodge always had that line for Barnett with the likes of Walker and Mason Clark. It's why they are such a threat, potentially, on the counter-attack, something that Notts County and Neil hardly have to be acutely aware of. O'Brien. O'Brien's dug out a really good cross, and there's the opener. Christian Dennis for Notts County. What a ball that was. So inviting for Dennis, and he did the rest. And Notts are in front in this semi final. Well, they've certainly had to be very, very patient for this goal. There's Wooden there that wins that first little flick on there, but Jim O'Brien does absolutely magnificently here. I don't think Villette does anything anywhere near enough to stop that cross coming in. I said cross is going to come in, it's going to really hurt Barnett if they don't stop it. And this is a prime example, that little shimmy there from O'Brien, hang it up brilliantly. And then he just attacks it across Elliot Johnson. It's a big, big goal for Notts County in this game. He's been vindicated just with that cross, surely. It's a fantastic ball. Barnett looking to hit back quickly, though. Villette with the shot, which was on target, and it's touched wide for a corner by Bacon. But what two trips to Wembley potentially this season, because they're also in the semi-finals of the trophy. And we'll eventually meet Harrogate at Meadow Lane in that game, of the semi-final between Concord Rangers and Hales Owen Town. Oh, could be another chance here, Roberts! Wow, that's a let-off for Barnett. Massive let-off. He's done absolutely brilliant with these little flick on set. Tatunda, they're just. That with Slocum. <laughs> done. That's a good ball. Looking to release Mason Clark. And McCallum's getting into the box. Walker's there. Dunn's arriving on the edge. Mason Clark! Oh, good save from Slocum. Fine stop from the Notts County goalkeeper. Well, I mentioned in that first half that we didn't really see too much of Mason Clark. Picks up a great position on the right-hand side, and now there are a little bit of spaces now available for Barnett to attack. 
You're going to cut inside those areas. You have to really put off the goalkeeper to make a save there. Sam Slocum does that brilliantly. It's a good shot. It's a good save. It's good all-round play from everybody. National League away games, and of course, one at Yeovil in the eliminator. And Rose to strike one, and it's taken a deflection. It's been a good open game in this second half so far. Just fell there to Rose and Taylor just made not, but it breaks down for them. And off go Barnett on the counter attack. Led here by Tutonda. McCallum's the player in the middle, but he's overhit the cross. Walker couldn't get to it either, put behind by Joel Bagan. I think Paul McCallum was saying to Tutonda just to whip that across that near post area for me. To see McCallum in the centre of your screen there, just picking on Turner. Just look at that run across the near post area. Just maybe looking for that one across the floor there for Paul McCallum to get onto. But going back to Darren Curry's option on the bench, you, you're completely right there. But Pavey's been out for a little while. Coulthurst is coming back from an injury. Akinoda's another one from an injury. And then you look at Neil Arley. Where's Thomas on the bench? Baldwin on the bench as well. Crawford, a creative midfielder. So both managers have different types of personnel to bring on. Johnson's corner and Santos is in there for the bees. And the angle was always working against the centre back. That's a corner that's been given. <laughs> I think Santos is ready to go back to defend the goal kick. And then gave the referee the thumbs up to say the sides won a corner. Oh, loose ball from Santos, and now this could present an opportunity to O'Brien and Notts County, and he's picked out Dennis, can he finish? And another opportunity, and a double save from Loach to deny Notts County. Well, it's a great double save there from Scott Loach, and he's done this time and time again this season for Barnett, and he's needed to do it again. Just a reaction afterwards there of Santos to come in and make the challenge as well. Poor pass given away, Jim O'Brien there, really well on the counter-attack. It's a brave save from the goalkeeper to get up again. They didn't take through Dennis and you wonder. Here's Rose though, could be another chance for them here. Roberts. Still Roberts. Oh, brilliant! Fantastic goal! Oh, that's a gem! Callum Roberts doubles Notts County's lead. A player of some ability, and how he demonstrated it there on such a big stage, too. Well, it's just a brilliant all-round goal there from Callum Roberts. Just look at the coast control. Big game players create big moments for their sides. Callum Roberts has done that. We know he's got this in abundance. We know he's got this in the bag. The confidence he's playing with at the moment. Just goes on the outside of Elliot. But it's just a close control. The close touches. Draws Loach out there and just coolly composes himself to pass that in the corner and give Notts County an absolutely massive goal in the context of this game. Just with that experience, the spine of their team. In towards McCallum. Easy save in the end for Slocum. We talked to Johnson. Trapped by Baldwin. There's his cross into the box, and that was the chance that they've been waiting for. Pavey arriving in on that, just couldn't direct the header on target. Just half chances now, Adam. These half chances need to be taken. Johnson making that run down the left-hand side. It was a great ball up there because Pavey had a good run there on Ben Turner. Thomas up against Villette. Been able to bring this a long way, and there's the shot, but way over the bar in the end. Notts County are going to Wembley. The Magpies just one win.